grateful people of the Most High God. So God wants me to read Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 136, verse 16 to 35, and Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 88, verse 117 to 126. So I'm going to read it, and I hope you people, all you beautiful people are in power, peace, love, and a sound mind, and good health and strength. So we're going to start with Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 88, verse 117 to verse 126. Here it goes. Therefore, verily I say unto you, my friends, call your solemn assembly as I have commanded you. And as all have not faith, seek ye, seek ye diligently and teach one another words of wisdom, yeah? Seek ye out of the best books words of wisdom. Seek learning, even by study and also by faith. Organize yourselves, prepare every needful thing, and establish a house, even a house of prayer, a house of fasting, a house of faith, a house of learning, a house of glory, a house of order, a house of God, that your incomings may be in the name of the Lord, that your outgoings may be in the name of the Lord, that all your salutations may be in the name of the Lord with uplifted hands unto the Most High. Therefore, cease from all your light speeches, from all laughter, from all your lustful desires, from all your pride and light-mindedness, from all your wicked doings. Appoint unto yourselves a teacher, and let not all be spokesmen at once, but let one speak at a time. But let one speak at a time, and let the all listen unto the sayings, that when all have spoken, that all may be edified of all, and that every man may have an equal privilege. See ye that you love one another, cease to be covetous, learn to impart one to another as the gospel requires, cease to be idle, Cease to be unclean, cease to find fault in one another, cease to sleep longer than is needful. Retire to thy bed early, that you may not be weary. Arise early, that your bodies and your mind may be invigorated. And above all things, clothe yourselves with the bond of charity, as with a mantle, which is the bond, which is the bond of perfectness and peace. Pray always that you may not faint until I come. Behold, lo, I will come quickly and will receive you unto myself. Amen. So that is Doctrine and Covenants chapter 88, verse 17 to 126. And the next part I'm supposed to read is Doctrine and Covenants chapter 136, verse 16 to 35. And let my servants that have been appointed to go and teach this, my will to the saints that they may be ready to go to a land of peace. Go thy way and do as I have told you and fear not thy enemies, for they shall not have power to stop my work. Zion shall be redeemed in my own due time. And if any man shall seek to build up himself and seek not my counsel, he shall have no power and his folly shall be made manifest. So you see like people going about um, trying to build up their self without God's counsel. God's saying they'll have no power and their folly, their foolishness will be made manifest before all. Now seek ye and keep all your pledges one with another. Covet not that which is thy brother's Keep yourself from evil to take the Lord of the to take the name of the Lord in vain. For I am the Lord your God, even the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, and of Isaac and of Jacob. I am he that led the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, and my arm is stretched out in the last days to save my people Israel. Seize to contend with one another. Cease to speak evil of one another. Cease drunkenness and let your words tend to edifying one another. 
If thou borrowest of thy neighbor, thou shalt restore that which thou hast borrowed. And if thou canst not repay, then go straightway and tell thy neighbor, lest he condemn thee. If thou shalt find that which thy neighbor has lost, thou shalt make diligent search till thou hast delivered it to him again. Thou shalt be diligent in preserving what thou hast, that thou mayst be a wise servant a wise steward for it is the free gift of the lord thy god and thou art his steward if thou art merry praise the lord with singing with music with dancing and with a prayer of praise and thanksgiving if thou art sorrowful call on the lord thy god with supplication then your soul may be joyful fear not thy enemies for they are in my hands and i will do my pleasure with them my people must be tried in all things, that they may be prepared to receive the glory that I have for them, even the glory of Zion. And he that will not bear chastisement is not worthy of my kingdom. Let him that is ignorant learn wisdom by humbling himself and calling upon the Lord his God, that his eyes may be open that he may see, and his ears open that he may hear. For my spirit is sent forth into the world to enlighten the humble and contrite, and to the condemnation of the ungodly. Thy brethren have, thy brethren have rejected you and your testimony, even the nations that has driven you out. And now comes the day of their calamity, even the days of sorrow, like a woman that is taken in travail, and their sorrow shall be great unless they speedily repent. Yeah very speedily so those are the scriptures god wanted me to read to you beautiful people take care i love you all